Hi everyone, it's time for today's video based on New York Times connection game. It's basically a game where you create four groups of four words from 16 given words. You have seen the thumbnail, so you know what the first group we are discussing is. Watch to the end of this video and I will also tell you the other three groups of four words, what each word means, and what they have in common. Let's start with today's puzzle. Today's puzzle are the four words are for exited. So exited is departed. Now departed comes from depart, which means to leave, right? Really, the, the root of that word is part. Right, because we have the part and the part, right? The same way we have like descend, de. -E. Depart, you know, means basically leaving, exiting, departure. So, you know, when you go to the airport, there's a departure area. They don't say an exiting area, they don't say a leaving area, they call it departure. Now, depart has another meaning, which means dead. So departed means literally departed this world, departed this physical world. So that person is dead. They're departed. So yeah, departed, departure. And then we have a word department, which has nothing to do with this, right? There's nothing to do with leaving, nothing to do with exiting, but department or, you know, a part of a company or a Part of a store, it's a depart department. Another word for exited is left. He just left. He left the stage. He left the company. Now, left is interesting because left is got so many meanings, right? So left, that's its simplest, purest meaning, means the past tense of leave, left, you know. But then left, there is the verb, there's the expression to be left. I was left with nothing except the shirt on my back. The cops took everything I had to be left with, to be left with. And then there is the expression, you leave me no choice, as in I have no choice. I, have, I can't do anything except, you know, except doing this thing. You leave me no choice. And then in that sense, we have the expression, what is left? What's left? What's left to say? You know, I got nothing to say. What's left to say? What is left? What is left is that what remains, which is like here, it remains nothing. Yeah. What is left? What is left of our weekend? We're gonna just sleep. What is left? So what is left is to be left is like remaining, what remains. I'm left wondering, why did you accept this job if you don't even like doing it? To be left something. I'm, I'm left, I was left speechless. You know, after what you said, I was left speechless. So to be left as means to be, you know, in a certain space emotionally. And of course, left simply means right and left, right, right, left. And, you know, and let's leave it to somebody. I leave it to you. How are you going to deal with this situation? So how to leave these things with you? I want to leave in a better way. So as you can see, leave has a lot of meaning. And of course, leave, left is the past tense of leave. Now leave is the thing that falls off the tree, right? So actually leaves is the things that fall off the tree. Leave is the verb to leave, which is depart, to exit. But leave is the plural of leave. So leaf is the thing that falls off the tree. But the plural of that is not leaves, is leaves. And the same leaves is the, you know, the present tense of to leave. So next word for exodus is split. You know, he just split. Did you see my brother? He just split, as in he just left, he just exited. Now, split is a past tense of split. So there is present and past tense and, you know, it's all split. But split has other meanings. Split means to divide. I want you to split this check. So, you know, you pay half of it, I pay half of it. Split. 
split in the middle or split, you know, let's split this bill correctly. You pay for what you pay. You pay for what you ate. I pay for what I ate. Split. But you can say split in the middle. That means that, you know, 50-50. So, you know, and then the couple just split. What happened to Suzanne and Jimmy? They just split. Split apart. Split. That means that they separated. So, and then we have the expression split second. In a split second, I was in another country. But what happened? Once I was in Mexico and in a split second, I was in France. Split second, split. Like that's, you know, that's the expression. And then exit that is went, you know, which is the past tense of go. And the go went gone. And then we have the expression one going through. What are you going through right now? What are you going through right now must be very difficult. You just lost your job and your, you know, your mom is sick, but you are going through. So go, the word go has so many meanings based on, you know, the proposition they use. So going out, where are you going? Going out, which means I'm going to have fun, going to see a friend. Then going to, I'm going to call a doctor. Going to here means decision. I have a decision. I have decided. It's like my life is going by. Going by is like, it's just leaving me. It's just, you know. Then he went off on me. Like started screaming, going off, going by. I'm going in. Hey, please, I, I'm scared of doing this. I'm going in. As in I'm starting a process, you know. Or, you know, there's a contest and you want to participate in. I'm going in. So, yeah, so that's where the verb go becomes quite interesting because, you know, and then he went on and went on and went on. That means he continued. He just continued. Go on. I want to hear more, right? Continue. Um, going to means, you know, I'm going somewhere. Hey there, friend. Nice to meet you. I am Hamid. Sorry for the interruption. If you are enjoying this video and are looking to, to take your English fluency and vocabulary to the next level, I've got something special for you. I offer personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions tailored to your unique goals and interests. Whether you're focusing on grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, or all around communication skills, I'm here to help you master English in a way that's fun and effective. Ready to elevate your English? Click on the link in the description below to book your session with me today. Let's embark on this journey to English mastery together. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks on mastering English. The next group are words that all mean one flying an airplane. Ace. Now, ace, you usually say ace for somebody who's like a fighter pilot, amazing, you know, he says an ace. But ace, you know, outside flying, ace means, you know, ace, the simplest form is ace is the, the A card. The one card in your playing cards, that's an ace. Wow, you got an, an ace in your sleeve. An ace in your sleeve means that you got a winning card. You got something, you know, and usually an ace in your sleeve means that you're a winning card that you haven't shown. But I feel that you have an ace in your sleeve. Uh, and then true ace. How did you do with that math test? I aced it. That means I did really well. True ace, right? Um, so... He's an ace, you know, and as in he's he's really good, you know. He let me see your ace accountant, as in your ace, your best, your you know. So that's an ace. Um, then one flying flying on an airplane is an aviator. You know, that's a simple thing. An aviator is somebody actually comes from aviation. Aviator is somebody who flies. Aviation is the state of flying, right? Um, then one flying and airplane is flyer, F-L-I-E-R. 
Now, I don't really ever use that. I don't know why. But flyer also means the thing, the leaflet, right? Can you see the flyer, which is the thing that advertise Dance classes here in Georgetown Center between 8 p.m. and 10 p.m. That's a flyer, right? It's just a leaflet. Um, and so flyer comes from the word fly. And, you know, fly, I've actually done videos on fly. Fly means a lot of things, you know, fly like a bird, uh, like an airplane. Um, and then we have fly off. He just flew off the handle. I mean, he, he just got crazy. He was like, he couldn't control himself. He just, you know, he flew off the handle. Um, I'm super fly. Kind of that fly means that very, um, very fancy, very kind of, uh, you know, elegant. That's fly. Um, of course, fly is that annoying, you know, that, that, you know, simple. And then, yeah, and then, you know, fly, flying, flight. Um, um, then we have one flying, the, an airplane is the word pilot. Now, pilot means, you know, pilot is the simplest form of, Flying an airplane, that's what we use, who's the pilot. But you could also pilot a ship, you know. So pilot is usually the commandeering or driving something. Or, and then that's where we have the word autopilot, which means that, you know, you're not, you're not actively piloting this thing, is autopilot. When an autopilot can be an expression. Oh, man, I haven't slept in 16 hours days i i'm basically on autopilot which means i'm like i don't i don't really i'm not really conscious i'm on autopilot so and then a pilot can be also the light in your um in your water heater when you turn on the pilot pilot also means the first episode of a new tv show the very first episode is called the pilot Okay, then kinds of whales are blue. Now, blue means, of course, you know, the color blue, but then we have blues. I feel blue, and the blues, the type of music comes from the color blue, which means sad. I feel blue. I feel, you know, basically, I, I, I am not happy. So that's where the word blue comes from. Blue also means like X rated movies, and then blue means, and Again, you got to pay attention because B-L-U-E is a verb. I mean, it's a it's a noun, but then we have B-L-E-W, the same as blue. There is no difference in pronunciation, but that B-L-E-W means the that's the past tense of blow. So you blew me away, man. So when you write blew me away, it's not B-L-U-E, it's B-L-E-W. Um, and I've talked about blue before. Like blew me away. I'm blown off, but that's blown. But um blew by the car just blew by me, right? So yeah. Uh the next word kind of whales is fin. I think fin is a type of a maybe a body body of the fish. It's like a I don't know, the, the part with the on top goes like that. And then kind of whale is gray. Gray again is a you know is a color. G R A Y is the American pronunciation. I'm sorry, American spelling. The British spelling is G R E Y. So you know, gray matter, your brain. Um, but anyways, it's usually just the color gray, right? Oh, he's always just wearing gray. What a gray day! So gray usually is used for like exciting boring monotonous uh this is such a gray room you have it's it's just it has no color it has no light kind of whales right apparently right is a type of way i had no idea so again because this game of connections wants to screw with you or wants to mess with you that's why they would have the board right and left so you would say okay this is something they're together but they're not here so right in its simplest form is that on your right, on your left. So right is, you know, this side, the, the side that you don't, you didn't use to wear a watch on. Nobody wears a watch now, but we used to wear a watch on our left hand. Um, 
Then right, you can say right, and what are my rights here? You know, you have the right to an attorney, right to. Um, what are my human rights? Don't I have any rights? I'm this child's parent. Don't I have any rights? And then to right something is to wrong something. You wronged me. Because I wronged you, I'm going to write something, R-I-G-H-T. I'm going to write it. I'm going to set it straight. I'm going to set it correctly. Um, and then we have the expression right away. Are you coming to the meeting? Right away. On my way. Right away. Um, right now. Right away. Um, and then we have the word W-R-I-T-E, which is exactly the same pronunciation, right, which means, you know, to write. And then, so you got to pay attention, right? Um, but that right doesn't have a lot of meanings. It usually just means, but then you can have uh, propositions with that, like write off. What is write off? Write off means that you can write something off. So it doesn't, you don't have to pay taxes for it or it's, it's just write that off, um, which means just ignore that, cancel that. Um, then write up which means to write like a report, write up a report. Um, so that, yeah, that's kind of whales are right is one of them. Um, and, you know, wrong and right, as I said, and left and right, and, you know, rights. Things with slots, things with slots. So <laughs> be careful with the, with the long R uh, and short R. Uh. This is slots, things with slots, okay? Slots is a different, completely different thing. So... One of them things with slots is ATM. So an ATM is a slot machine and um, slot machine and ATM shorts for um, automatic teller machine, right? So because it's rather than teller, with teller is the person in the bank. It's from the verb tell, but you know teller means somebody who deals with your money in the bank behind the counter. So that's why ATM stands for that, and it's something with a slot. And that, now the thing about ATM is that uh, it's become more of a, you know, in, informally, I'm not your ATM. Can you lend me some money? I'm not your ATM, you know. So it's like use that in that way. And then things with slots are casino. You know, you have a lot of slot machines and casino. You know what casino means? Things with slots is schedule. Now, schedule is to schedule or having a schedule. All that means that, you know, an agenda of what you do. But your schedule has slots, like this slot in my schedule. You know, there's a there's a slot that just opened up in my schedule, so I can see you tomorrow. That's where slot comes in. Um, but a schedule usually has to do with timing, right? So can I schedule you for a, you know, dental meeting or something or dental exam? Um, let me schedule this. Let me look at my schedule. So it's always now the thing is that schedule because of the way it's written, S C H E D U L E. Sometimes I think maybe the British will call it schedule, right? Because of that weird S C H E sound. So schedule is American way. Maybe schedule. I'm not sure. Not everybody uses that. But that's another thing. And the last thing, things with slots, is spatula. And spatula is the thing that you use when you're cooking. Okay. Well, I hope you learned something. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.